Um, we gave it everything. We wanted our best, especially in possession. Um, defensively, we were outstanding uh, in a lot of ways. They just kept turning up for each other, which we've done the whole year. Um, so if you could see the goal like that from a corner that wasn't a corner, it was very disappointing because they didn't deserve that. Um, but in saying that, victory was a better thing, so they have stuff to do. Probably a good team. You know, they're a good team and they got us on the back foot with uh, Kuni Christ and Lisa. So maybe the girls uh, were a little bit more focused on them. Uh, maybe nerves, you know, because they're such a young team. But like I said, I'm super proud and they just kept turning up and turning up and turning up and turning up. Um, so they'll learn from that. Yeah, I think it's probably did. You know, there's a couple of girls who didn't play fine, didn't impact Jada. She was outstanding. There might have been a couple of others who haven't played in those big games and uh, yeah, maybe faltered a little bit. But again, when you put effort in, and we did it last year as well, um, actually, we should have been in the game last year with a handball there too. The referees are deciding a lot of games. But um, yeah, so I'll just report. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we've done well. We've done well. Yeah, uh, look, today was uh, rough for us. We couldn't get one to put away, but at the same time, this whole season has been, the girls have been outstanding. Um, a lot of the season, I haven't had to make a, a lot of saves in every game. Like, I guess you could say I had to make one or two saves every now and then. Um, so, the, and that's because the girls were just so fantastic in attack and defence and made my job really easy. So for me to kind of, I guess, do a little bit today was a, a pleasure. Like, and I hope that uh, it was for the girl. It was for the girls, obviously. And um, and I just can't thank Auntie enough also for giving me this season. Um, I was out for injury for a couple of years, so it was just a pleasure. To, and it's my first grand final, so not the way you want to end it. But um, like Auntie said, I'm victory with a better team today. I did a little bit, yeah. Um, I was thinking of, I know a lot of the girls from the Melbourne Victory team and um, I was hoping to tag one away from Melina Ayers as one of my good friends, but uh, it, it is what it is and I guess we um, didn't get to finish it off today. Um, I know you've spoken a lot about the girls this year. Um, you obviously want to Again, everyone who plays for this team steps up and does a job. But when you've got so those two players who are direct, it makes the opposition think twice and double up at times. So not having them changes uh, the, the way the opposition plays a little bit and what we can do. So 100% um, to lose both was a big blow. Pretty was starting to, she was excellent in the first half. She was dangerous. Um, so to have her come off was a bit of a factor, but again, like I said, we just keep turning up and regardless of who's out, you know, Ellie was there on the side. So I'm looking around at these girls and it makes me more proud that we've done what we've done with injuries and a couple of things like that. Thank you, yeah, you guys. Best year. Yeah, yeah. Again, I'm, I base everything on effort. No, it's so simple to say, but... If you give everything in any part of life or sport, then what can you say? You know what I mean? And they did. They, they gave everything. No, the quality wasn't there, maybe, but it doesn't matter. They put everything into it. Um, so what, what can I say about it? And again, last year's grand final was the same. Um, so, yeah, they, they did well the whole year and got a, you know, off to a good start and did well and we won the premiership. But, yeah, this one-off game, um, as long as they gave everything, I've got no issue with it. Ah, uh, yes, from what I saw, yeah. It's it's tough. Like, again, like, Victory did well, but... And we had a last year blatant handball and wasn't given, and now this year, one minute to go a corner, there wasn't a corner. Um, and it's not just me. It just happens every week. Unfortunately, the W League's getting better and better, but like, Victory's probably um, at that stage, and maybe because they're not close to full-time or things like that. I don't know the, the answer, but, you know, we need to progress to them as well. Um, otherwise, going to be a lot of... Yeah, results uh, twisting on that. Um, 
Yeah, the girls did it amazing this season um, and it's such a young team and um, I, I played with a lot of these girls for young Matildas in the NPL um, so to make it to a grand final um, it just gives us all so much experience for our careers and hopefully we can back it up the next year. Joey, anything from you? Um, I would just want to commiserations to both you, both you Ante, uh, Ante and Jala but um, Ante the heartbreaking way that you lose this, does this become motivation for you for pre-season next time? It's already in the bank, big two grand finals in a row now. This is going to rally the group as you head into next season? Uh, not really. We don't need that to rally us. Uh, just getting a championship in the year is enough for us to focus on and premiership and just doing the best you can. So losing doesn't motivate me. Uh, trying to be successful, though, regardless of what happens before that. Cool. Cheers. Um, this is sort of a new era for the number league now. What would this sort of be like to see happen in terms of competition level, in terms of clubs, in terms of all these sort of nuts and bolts of the league? You know, playing across the road. Well, the simple one we've said it's been, it's been whatever. It was like we just played two rounds. Played three is even better, but it's still two. Um, it was just not fair. Like we won the premiership. Fair and square, but we didn't play around twice. Um, and certain other teams had an easy run as well at certain times. And it's just, yeah, it makes it not laughable, but it makes it. it I love it having the premiership, but I'm also thinking, oh, you know, well, we didn't play around twice. It's not really fair. Um, so that's one thing I definitely changed. Um, and, you know, missing some girls due to work and things like that makes it tough. I don't think we'll get the professionalism very soon, but that's something they should aim for. Um, and I think the girls need more respect for, especially now that Matilda's gone, for the level they've played. Their new names now um, should have happened a long time ago in a lot of ways. I think it was all based on Matilda rather than all these kind of girls who are good players, but they just weren't in the limelight. Um, so that's slightly changing, I think, this year changed it. But it's, it's getting there, but we still need leadership in terms of pushing a couple of those things. 